and here you can see the application is working absolutely fine i am already connected so what i will do i will first log out from the application to show you that everything is working fine you can see i'm not connected it will open the metamask i can simply pass my credential and here i'm connected i got the address if you come back here in the application you will find all the information so right now there is no token available for sale and there is no balance of token in our ICO contract. So we have to transfer the token to our ICO contract. So it will reflect here and user can start buying. Now I can come back here and I'm going to simply call this one. So click on this transfer token It's going to open the MetaMask. Here you can see transaction. We have this loader and we have to simply click on this confirm and it's going to transfer the token to our ICO contract. So here the transaction went through. If you come back here, you will find the details. So right now the token available for ICO is 1000. So now anybody can buy your token. So this is how you can transfer. Now the user can start buying your token. So let me go back and let me switch my account. Even you can buy your token. There is no problem. So once you are here, click on this buy token. Now it will take you to the section and now you are ready to buy the token. So first thing you have to define the number of token you want to buy. So I'll go with 500. And I click on this buy token. Click on this. It's going to take the process. And here we have our MetaMask. You can see we are paying this much fund for 500 token because our price is 0 0.05. So click on this confirm. It's going to make the transaction. And the transaction is successfully. And we have bought the token. And here you can see we got 25% here because we have bought 500 token. This is what we have coded in our entire ICO project. So I hope you guys have watched the complete project. We got an amazing response from many students. So make sure to follow the complete project. You will understand every single architecture we have designed for this particular project and how we have built a smart contract. In this video, we're going to do a couple of update and I'm going to take you through this. So if you want to do any modification as per your end, you can do that very easily. So this is what we have coded. Let me give you a quick walkthrough of the folder and file structure and the code we have written so what I'm going to do is so once you will take the final source code this is the zip file you will get make sure to unzip that and you will get this folder and that folder you have to open in your VS code and this is what exactly you will get so this is the name we have called to our folder ICO token cell in that you will have all the folders and files so let me give you a quick walkthrough that what exactly we have coded together in the project so we have the component in that we have coded all of this component so token cell line teams mobile loader and here we are importing all the component which we have built and exporting so we can utilize in our application. We have footer, FAQ, distribution, contact. That's all we have coded together. This is the component section. Now come back to the context and here we are doing all the magic. So the very first file we have is this context JS and here we are doing the important configuration of our application. So first thing we are getting the ABI of our two contracts. So in the project we have written two contracts, one for our token sale and one for our ICO. And that's the ABI we are simply importing here. So this is the token contract and here we have the ICO. Here we are providing the owner address because certain functionality which we have in our contract we want to restrict that to only honor not anybody else so here we have the honor of the contract and this is the address of hard hat. so first we go to test our contract using hard hat, and this is the account by default hard hat will use for deploying your contract so that's what i have taken here you can simply replace with your address then we have the address of the token and the abi and here we have the address and abi of our token cell contract and here i have done the network configuration because as you all know that polygon is depreciated so if you want to test your application locally then you can do that if you want to deploy to any network you can do that so here i have done all the configuration so this is the polygon moi so this is the network i'm going to use for deployment on the test network because Polygon Mumbai is depreciated, so we cannot use that. If you want to deploy on Polygon, you can simply use it. All you have to do is to simply pass this name in our function, which I will show you. If you want to use any blockchain like Binance, so this is the Binance configuration. And this is the exact information you have to provide, no matter which network you want to deploy. So you have to give the chain ID. You, that's the chain ID you have to pass here. You have to give the name. And this name going to reflect in the MetaMask. In the native currency, you have to pass the name, symbol, and decimal point and here you have to provide the rpc url of that particular blockchain and i have already made a tons of video in this video i have explained that how you can get the rpc url for a specific blockchain and here you can provide the url of the block explorer so this one is for the binance this one is for binance mainnet and here we have the binance so far link and here we have the local host so i have already done the configuration for the local host so if someone don't have this configuration in their metamask for the local host so our application is automatically going to configure it and the user will not have any issue so this is the chain id we have provided the currency because you cannot use the eth currency when you are testing locally 
using hard hat because that's the change the hard hat done in the metamask so you cannot use that and this is rpg url for the localhost so we're going to test first on the localhost so if you want to test on localhost that's all you have to do is to come back here and here you have to provide no matter which network you are testing all you have to do is to copy the name and that's what you have to provide so if you have any specific blockchain make sure to create the exactly same object and provide all of this information about that specific blockchain and you can simply copy the name and that's what you will provide so once you will do that it will automatically connect with that particular blockchain so your application will not have any issue and the rest to be fine you don't need to do anything so first thing what we have to do is we have to get the address of our token sale contract and token contract because this project is different it's not just like a regular one where you can able to import any token here we are creating our token and that's the token we are listing for ico so make sure to follow the complete project for a better understanding of the architecture we have implemented so i'm going to simply close this one and now i will take you back to the contract because i have done a little bit changes in our contract so this is the token contract we have so we have name symbol standard supply owner and id and that's all you can able to find that's all we have coded together in the project that's a huge contract it's a custom token we have created but the actual magic is happening here in the token sell contract in that i have done a little bit changes so earlier what we did in our ico project that whenever someone's taking our token whenever someone is buying our token we are keeping the fund within the contract but this time we have changed that logic so we're going to simply transfer the fund to the admin of the contract. So whenever someone will buy the token, the fund will be transferred to the admin, the one who will deploy the contract. So that's the changes I have done. And here I have taken extra variable called total supply. And here I have added this extra function called update token supply. So you can simply update that, that how many token you want to make it available on the ICO. So the user can know that this much token is available for ICO sell. And that's the exact thing we have here. We are simply transferring the fund when we want to destroy this particular contract. So it's pretty good. Make sure to follow the complete project. Simply close this one. This is the contract. Now come back to the pages. So this is the page. Here we have done the net context configuration we have done. It's pretty easy, pretty simple. Come back to the index. Here we have imported React. We got all our components from our index. Then we are using the context. And here we are simply importing all the function we have coded together in our index.js. So this is where we are building all the logic. So we are using this library. We are importing some of the important function from utility, which we have here, which I will show you. Then we are getting the address of owner and we are getting the token sell address. So that's what we have. And here we have some notification because someone, when someone will buy, when someone will make any transaction we have to display the message so that's the notification we have and here we have taken all the states and here we have the most important function which will fetch all the information about the contract so you can see this is the address here we are getting the balance we have getting the token contract we are checking the balance then we are getting all the information about the token and that's what we are storing as a native token which i have explained extensively in the project and here we have this getting token holder so how many users are holding our token that information is coming here then we have this particular one token holder data so we are getting the token holder data individually and that's what we are setting as a current holder all this information and here we have the token sell contract so now we have to get the information about the token sell contract that how much token is available what is the price of the token what is the token sold number what is the token supply that's all we are getting here and we are checking the balance of our token sell contract so you can see this is the address of our token sell contract which we have here token sell contract so i'm simply exporting and importing here and that's what i have to pass into our token contract so this one is a different contract token sell contract and this one is token contract so it's going to give us the balance that how much fund this token sell contract had of this particular token and that's what we are creating as an object and that's what we are setting so, so this one is an important function which fetch all the information about our token so simply close this one and we are calling that function and here we have the buy function so anybody can buy our token so here we are setting the stage, then we are taking the amount that how much token the user wants to buy. We are converting it and that's the amount we are passing into our contract. So the token will be transferred to that particular user and we'll get our fund. And that's the amount we are charging because the price of our one token is one ether. You can charge any amount and set price anything to your token. So this is our buy function, pretty simple. Then we have our next function called transfer native token. This particular function will transfer the token to our ICO contract because first it will create the token then 
if we want to sell our token we have to transfer the token to our ICO so the balance would be available and anybody can buy so this is the function we have which allow the owner so this particular function can only call by the owner of the contract so he can call it and he can transfer the fund so I'm going with the hardcore data you can transfer any amount so I'm transferring thousand token to our token sale contract so you have to provide the token sale contract address and call the transfer so it's going to transfer the token which I will show you how it's work close this one and here we have the update token supply so the reason why I have included this particular extra functionality because sometime your token got sold and you want to sell more so you can transfer more token and you can simply update the supply so the selling process will start again so this is a very good feature I have included this one is the update one and this particular function can only call by the owner of the contract and that's the condition we have here so this is the entire functionality we have built here in index.js file so let's close this one and here we have the contract close this one we have the pages here we have all the component which we have passed to so this is our loader I have added here we have the token supply and here we have the stoop function you can only call by the order of the contract so once he call and set the function it can simply comment this out because this function is not visible to the other users so I'm going to simply close this one now come back to the public you don't need to make any changes because we are using multiple library that's the CSS file we have all this so that's all you will find here so you don't need to make any changes unless you know how to do it then we have the script and here we are doing all the deployment of our contract so here we have this particular function which will convert our token or price into way which we have to pass into our contract so the initial supply I'm setting for my token so when I will run this particular script it's going to first deploy our token contract so I'm going with this much supply you can increase to any supply and that's what we are simply passing here in our token contract because if you see in the token contract we have to provide the supply so if I come back here in the construction we have to provide the owner so the one who will deploy the contract become the owner of the token and we are simply initializing the supply balance to that owner and we are increasing the initial supply and that's what exactly we have to provide here so we have to provide how much supply we want to have our to our token and that's what we are providing so once it will deploy successfully it's going to give you the address of our token after that once our token is deployed successfully and we got the address because we need the address which we have to pass into our token sell contract so here I'm setting up the price so the total supply I want to have of my token as an ICO is thousand you can increase it to any number you can see that the total number of token we are creating is five lakh more than that but I'm putting the token for a sell is only thousand you can increase this to number any number there is no problem and I am setting up the price of my token is to one ether equal to one token but you can go with any number if you want to go with something less like 0 0.05 you can charge this much fund as well for your token so let's go with that and here we have this simply we are passing all of this information into our token sell contract because if you come back here that's what we have to provide in our constructor so this is the admin and we are getting the token address we are getting the token price and we are getting the total token supply and that's what we are simply updating here so these are the important information we have to provide and after that if we run the command it's going to give us the address of our token sell contract and here we have this two command so if you want to deploy on polygon MOI, which we go to do on the test network and here we have the localhost script for deployment so this is our script close this one close this one and here we have the style which we have seen here we have the test so if you want to do the testing locally and writing some tests you can do that and here we have the utils in that we have built some utility function some ABI this is the current wallet function and in that you can see I'm calling this particular handle network switch this is the function we have built here in the context so if I come back here here we have this one so it will automatically whenever someone's try to connect with the wallet it will automatically check for the network connection that which network the user is currently connected if it's connected with the local host so it will be just go continue so if the user is connected with a different network it's going to switch the network so that's the changes I have done so this is the basic thing looks good and here we have the hardware addresses so this is all the hardware addresses which you can use to import in your metamask so if you want to import any hardware accounts you can simply get the private key and import which I will show you how you can do that I have given you all the addresses which hardware will give you to do the testing and each account will have 10,000 
ether which you can use to test and here I have this hardet config file in that you will see first we're going to test using hardet after that we're going to test on polygon so when you deploy on polygon you have to get your private key and make sure you need to have some fun in that you can literally deploy to any network so if you want to deploy to any Binance or Arbitrum all you have to do is to get the RPC URL of that particular network and you have to give the name you can call whatever you want and this is the exact name you have to call here in the script so that's the name you have called so make sure you have to give the exact name in your script so looks good got it now what I'm going to do is so this is what we have coded in the entire project so make sure to follow this complete one now come back if you want to run this project there are a couple of requirement you need to have in your system so first you have to check your node version because hardhead is not compatible with the latest node version so right now you will see that we are using this particular version of hardhead and this particular version hardhead is compatible with specific node version if you go with the latest one it will not work so first you have to check your node version so currently i'm using this node dash v so you have to install the this particular node version and you have to also check your npm version type npm dice v and these are the two requirement you need to have if you have any other version it's going to create a problem and hardhead will not work because hardhead they haven't updated their package yet but i'm using this hardhead because i have a couple of client i'm just doing the testing of the contract so i have to use it so you can use this exact version if you really want to use hardhead in your project which is must so this is the first two requirement once you have these two after that we have to simply install the packages so we have so many packages let's install that one by one so let's install that so simply type npm i and hit enter it's going to install all of the packages and you can see we got this node modules folder and that we're going to have all this dependency which we are using so just wait this process will take a little bit time and the downloading and installation will happen very quickly you can see we have installed the entire packages successfully and we are having no issue make sure you should avoid this particular command don't run this one because a lot of packages got an updated version and it's telling you to simply upgrade but we don't want to use it because the application we have configured based on this particular version so simply ignore this particular command once you're done with that installation simply clear your terminal now we have to test our contract locally so we're going to use hardhat for testing our contract so this is the particular command you have to write type npx hardhat node this will start the local node in your system and it will give you 20 plus account so we can simply deploy our contract locally and do the testing so it will give you 20 plus account and each account will have 10,000 fake it so that's the accounts which I have provided here so this is the exact account which I have provided here and by default hardhead will take you this very first account zero this very first account for deploying your contract by default it will take this one and that's the configuration I have done here in the context file so you can see here we have this 2266 and 2266 because it's going to be the owner of the contract so make sure you have to keep this running once it's running now you have to simply run the deploy script so come back here in the script deploy and here we have this two script so we are testing locally so simply copy this one and come here paste and hit enter it's going to simply compile the contract and it's going to give you the address so when it will compile successfully it's going to give you this artifact inside the artifact you will have this contract inside the contract we'll have the ABI of the both the contract and this is the old one so I'm going to simply delete the old one because whenever you deploy your contract or make any changes in your contract even a symbol you have to provide the updated ABI because the ABI will change so simply drag and drop this one to cancel then we have to simply get this one and drag and drop here so we got our ABI we got the ABI of both the contract like token contract and token sell contract so this is the first thing once we're done with that now we have to come back here in the context and we have to replace the addresses so in your case when you will run this command you will get the same address because by default hardware will always generate the same address for your very first contract and this is the second contract so you will also have the same address so all you have to do is to simply copy this one and that's what you have to provide anyway we are getting the same address that's what you have to provide and here we have the second one which is also the same 512 and this is the exact address you will also get when you will run this particular code so our contract is deployed successfully our chain is running now we can start our application so simply type npm run dev and this will start our application on localhost 3000 now you can simply come back to the browser 
click here and I have already set my localhost here so I'm going to click here but you can simply copy localhost from here so if you come back in this you can able to find the localhost here as well so you can simply copy from there you can simply copy this and you can open your browser but I already have this setup and here you can see the application is working absolutely fine I am already connected so let me log out with the application right now I'm account number four and this is the hard account so if I open my metamask you will see that these are my two real account and all of these accounts are hard at account and by default hard will use this particular account you can see 92266 and it has less fun because this is the account we have used for deploying our contract locally that's why it's less fun so make sure when you are testing your contract locally you have to clear your metamask history so what I will do I will first log out from the application to show you that everything is working fine you can see I'm not connected it will open the metamask I can simply pass my credential and here I'm connected it will reload and here I'm connected with the application I got the address if you come back here in the application you will find all the information so right now there is no token available for sale and there is no balance of token in our ICO contract so we have to transfer the token to our ICO contract so it will reflect here and user can start buying and here you will see here we have this particular function called token transfer and this is for you only this is for only you only you so once you transfer the token make sure you have to comment this I'm going to do that so this is the setup we have done now let me show you one more thing because we have done the network configuration you can see here we have done the network configuration for the localhost but what if the user who is using your application doesn't have this localhost maybe in your case you are testing it and you don't have this localhost set up in your metamask so how are you going to deal with that so let me show you how you can deal with that so make sure i'm deleting this localhost from my metamask so right now i don't have this localhost in my metamask but our contract we have deployed locally and testing on localhost so there are two ways to do the configuration you can simply click here go to the go to the click here go to the add network and here you can provide all of these details manually you can see all of this detail manually so click on this add network come back here and here you can provide all of this detail manually which we have already configured here so you can come back here you can provide the chain id localhost name and all of the symbol and the rpc url and explore manually so you can provide it manually and you can save it this is the one way but we are doing in more advanced way so what i will do the moment i will reload the page the user will reload the page it's going to open this one and it's going to automatically configure these details in our metamask so the user don't need to fulfill this manually so click on this approve and it will automatically switch the network to localhost because that's what we have provided click on switch to network and here we are on the localhost connected so if you open up the metamask you will see that we are connected with the localhost it's working fine now before we make the transaction we have to clear the history of our metamask because this is the weird problem we have in the metamask so when you are testing and switching your account make sure to always clear your metamask history then the transaction will take place otherwise the transaction will fail so this is the setup now we have to transfer the token to our contract and right now the available supply we have mentioned at the time of deployment of the contract is thousand so let's go with a thousand okay let's transfer thousand token to this so if i come back here i'm going to close this one close this one and here i have this particular function called transfer transfer native token this is the token which user is going to buy so only one of the contract can transfer it and here I'm passing thousand you can transfer any token make sure you have the fund available because the total supply of the token we have is five lakhs so you cannot go more than that and you have to check the balance of your account because when you will deploy the contract you will be the owner and the token will be transferred to your wallet address so that's the condition we have applied so I'm going to transfer thousand or you can transfer more there's no problem so this is the function I have to call so if I come back here in the banner here I have attached this particular function so here I have this two function you can simply after transferring and updating the token you can simply comment this one because this particular function is only for you not for anybody else so I have to simply call this particular function which we are calling now I can come back here and I'm going to simply call this one so click on this transfer token It's going to open the metamask here you can see transaction we have this loader and we have to simply click on this confirm and it's going to transfer the token to our ICO contract so here the transaction went through you can open the metamask and you can see the transaction successfully if you come back here you will find the details so right now the token available for ICO is 1000 there is no cell the cell is zero and the percentage is also zero you can see so now anybody can buy your token so this is how you can transfer 
if you want to transfer more token you can simply do that so click on this transfer it's going to transfer more token so let's call this one an update and here the token is successfully transferred and you will see the fund will reflect here so right now we have 2000 token for ICO in our ICO contract so we have to also call the update function we have to also call this update function because we have transferred the token if I simply bring this function back and if I take you back to the context you will see that we are doing simple update so if I come back to the context here you can see here we have this update function so what I'm doing here I'm getting the previous token supply so what is the supply at the time of deployment we have defined and then I'm simply adding and then I'm simply adding 10,000 more because that's the token we have supply you can simply update it to any number and the reason why I have taken this particular variable because here we have to calculate the percentage and that's what we have to reflect in the progress bar and in the supply so only for that purpose I have taken this so we have to call this function as well update token supply so which we have here so simply save it come back to the application and now we can simply click on this you can change the name like you can see I have given the same name so I'm simply calling it click on this now it's going to simply call the update function here we have this update supply calling it now confirm this one and the transaction is completed if you come back here the data is changed so right now the update supply is 2000 now the user can start buying your token so let me go back and let me switch my account even you can buy your token there is no problem so now let's try to buy the token so first we have to clear our metamask history because we have changed our account so click on the setting advance and clear activity tab reload the page and this is what we will get so once you are here click on this buy token now it will take you to the section and now you are ready to buy the token so first thing you have to define the number of token you want to buy so I'll go with 500 and I click on this buy token click on this it's going to take the process and here we have our metamask you can see we are paying this much fund for 500 token because our price is 0.05 so click on this confirm It's going to make the transaction and the transaction is successfully and we have bought the token and here you can see we got 25% here because we have bought 500 token and total supply was 2000 so right now the available token is 500 it's 500 sold and that's the progress bar is getting up and if I come back here in my account number three you will see the fund is transferred successfully so right now we have this 24 earlier it was less now we have high we can even buy our own token if you want so simply reload the page and let's try to buy the token I can simply come back here this time I want to buy 100 token click on this buy token is going to open the transaction model and you have to simply confirm the transaction so click on this confirm and the transaction is completed so this is how you have bought the token and here the percentage is getting up so every single data is dynamic so one thing you have to keep in mind that you have to transfer the token update the supply the number of token you have transferred you have to simply update the same amount of token in the supply and the transaction will be fine so this is how exactly it's going to work so we have built this beautiful application in this complete project i would encourage you to come and simply work on this so this is what we have and sometime what happened when you are doing this transaction sometime maybe the transaction is failed right now in my case it's not happening but sometime metamask failed to calculate the gas limit so in that scenario you can come back here so this is the buy function all you have to do is to set the gas limit here gas the limit here so simply paste the gas limit so this is the gas limit we are providing and not every time you will have this error but sometime in case if you are facing this issue simply provide this one come back here reload the page and if I try to buy the token let's see what is happening so I want to buy 50 more token click on this buy token and it's going to make the transaction and you can see I'm saying confirm click on confirm the transaction completed successfully and this will up go up to 28 percent but I don't want to give this hard code gas limit because in my case it's working fine so I'm going to simply commit this one so make sure to check this out so that's how we can test our application using hard hat and deploy our contract locally now let me show you that how you can deploy your contract on a polygon test network so first I'm going to simply minimize this one and I'm going to open up my terminal so here the application is keep running I'm going to simply stop that let's clear it up and let's stop this one as well so I'm going to delete this one so now we have to deploy our contract to polygon test network so there are a few changes we have to do in our code base so first thing we have to do is come back here in the constants and here we have to change the network so we tested locally so we provided this but now we are testing on polygon so we have to provide this one Mumbai is not working if you want to deploy on the mainnet 
you can simply go with us but i'm going to do on the test network simply copy this one and that's what you have to provide so this is the first change you have to do once you're done with that simply close this one now i would suggest you to simply delete this artifact anyway delete this one and delete this one you can simply come back to the context delete the abi delete the token and if you come back to the contract you can literally call any you can change all of this data so uh, this is what i have called to my contract you can give your token name in the same way you can do all the changes and that's the updated abi you have to provide so you can do all the changes so that's the few thing now we have to do the configuration in our hardat config file for the deployment so here you can see here we have this one so first you have to comment this one and you have to bring this back because we are deploying to polygon and here you have to provide your wallet private key which you want to use for deploying on the contract this is the rpc endpoint for the polygon test network so i have to get my private key of my wallet so what i will do i'll simply save it i can come back to the browser this is what we have now we can come back here click on the metamask and this time i'm going to switch my network so this is the network which i'm going to use it so click on that and i have to go back to my real account so these are the two one is the real account so if i click on this account number two i have enough fun for deployment of the contract or i can go to my first or i can go to my first account in that i can see that i have very less fun so in your case if you don't have fun in your polygon test network you can simply get it for free so you can come back open a new tab and type polygon faucet click on the very first link and it will take you to this particular website which allow you to claim free faucet so just wait it's loading so you will come here and now you have to join their discord server so it's a two step process first you have to authorize your discord after that you have to join the discord server then it will redirect here and i have already done that so i will not get that option so click on this connect to discord to get token and it's going to get me here on the discord server and here i have to authorize so click on this authorize and now it will take me back to the same place here i am so here i'm redirected and here i got this option so when you will do it for the very first time it will ask you second time to join the discord community after that it will redirect here so i'm i have this option so i have to select the network so this is the network which i'm using the currency would be same come back here i have to pick the wallet address so i'm going to transfer the fund to this one and this is the account i'm going to use for deployment so simply copy this one and paste here and click on submit it's going to transfer this much fund to your wallet address so click on this confirm so this process takes a little bit time the transaction is successfully done and the fund is reflecting here so we got that fund in your case you will get the fund exactly in the same way so we got the fund now we have to get the private key of this particular account which we can provide in our code so to get a private key click here go to the account details here you have to click on the show private key and here you have to provide your password and hit enter and press hold and simply copy this and that's what you have to provide and done so i have copied my private key now i can come back here and here i have to provide the private key so in your case you have to provide your key i'm going to provide my and this is the exact configuration to you have to do for any network so right now i'm testing on polygon but if you want to do on any other network make sure to provide the rpc url and make sure you have to have a fun in your wallet address which you want to use for deployment and it will work fine so let me quickly replace so i successfully added my private key so i'm going to simply close that one now i'm ready to deploy my contract so click on this click on this deploy and this time we have to run this particular command remember this is the name we have given in our added config file so copy this one open up your terminal and this time we don't need to run our local node because we are using harder for deployment but we are not testing locally so we can simply paste here so this is the entire script now hit enter it's going to deploy our contract so first it will compile here we got the artifact inside the artifact we have the contract and this is the token and this is the token ico this process takes a little bit time because we are doing actually on the test network so it takes time so we can simply take this one and we can drag and drop in our context we can do the same thing with the token drag and drop here so we got the abi now you can simply close this one and now we have to wait once this deployment will complete it's going to give us the address which we have to provide here in the constants so just wait it's deploying the reason why it's taking a little bit time because we have two contract to deploy 
and here I'm going to replace the address because this time I'm using this particular account so simply copy this one and that's what I have to replace here so I'll say address so I have replaced the owner address and save it it's taking a little bit time so I'm going to wait once the deployment will complete we'll have our address and that's what we're going to simply provide here in the token place and this is the ICO place so right now you can see it's taking a little bit time so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the deployment and I have to restart the deployment process because we have multiple contracts that's why it's taking a little bit time so I have stopped that now I'm going to simply redeploy the contract this is the same command I have I'm to hit enter and just wait hope this time the deployment will happen sometime it's take time depending on the time which you are deploying so maybe the network is busy too busy so it takes time here you can see we got the very first token address here we got the second contract address so we got the token address and we got our token cell address so we got that one and that's what we have to provide here so I'm going to simply drag it here and you will see that this is the address of our token so simply copy this one and that's what I'm going to simply provide here here so token one and here we have the our ICO token cell and that's what I have to provide got it so we have replaced the token cell address and token address and that's the only thing you have to do now if I simply clear my terminal and if I start the application npm run dev hit enter our application is lurking absolutely fine here we have this simply copy this one you can come back in the browser let me close this one and here we have this one I can simply close this one or and open a new tab and paste here and hit enter you can see it will open up and it will automatically change our network so if I click on this connect it will open and it will change our network so right now it didn't change because we are already connected connected with polygon but what if the user is not connected with the polygon and it doesn't have polygon so it will automatically reconfigure the way it done with the test network so here I have deleted if I reload the page it's going to open and it's going to simply open this model and it will configure the polygon MOI network so click on this approve it will allow us to switch and here we are connected so we got it if we come back here we got our polygon right up here and this is the honor of our contract you can see the fund went down very less because we have used a lot of fun for deployment of the contract so if I come back here I can simply go back to my code base and I have to do the exactly the same thing which I have done so if I go back to my banner bring this function back and I have to simply transfer the token so I have to transfer thousand token so I can come here reload the page now I'll simply call this one transfer token and here it's making the transaction so it will open our metamask and this time we are doing the transaction on the polygon test network so click on confirm and here you will see the transaction is in the pending state and we have our loader which is up and running so once the transaction will complete it will reload the page and the token will be transferred successfully to our ICO contract so we have successfully transferred the token into our ICO contract so if you come back here you can see the and here you can see we got our data so this much token is available in ICO contract and there is no token sold so far this data takes a little bit time because this time we are actually interacting with the test network now I'm going to switch my account so I'll go back to my account to I'll clear my history and now I'm ready to buy token so let's come back here so I want to buy very less I want to buy only one token because this time I'm going to spend my real test ETH sorry Matty and I don't have much and these days it's very hard to get test Matty so I'm going to buy only one to show you click on this buy and it's going to open this and this fund will be transferred straight away to our owner so here we are paying this much now we can simply say confirm and the transaction is in pending mode you will see this fund will go up to one and here we have this sign and we have this failed message so sometime the transaction will complete but the message mess will tell you the transaction is failed so you should always double check so click here go to the block explorer and there you will find the details so let's see you can see as I told you now sometime metamask failed to pick that count the token transfers successfully 
successfully we have transferred the token if you come back here and if you reload the page you will see that metamask still reflecting the transaction is failed but the transaction is successful you can able to find the details so here it's taking a little bit time and here we got the data so 9999 and we have bought one token and it's something like 0.1 percent so you should always double check always double check when you are doing the transaction so that's how you can deploy your contract to the actual test network so this is what exactly we have built in this complete project so i would suggest you that come back simply download the startup file so come back to the blockchain coder go to the source code section here you will find all the project we have built on the channel so make sure to click on this ICO launch click here startup file so click here and you can simply start following the tutorial so every single thing is explained so make sure to download the startup file and this is what we built and this is how it's going to look so once you transfer the token make sure to comment this one because i don't want to expose this to on the front end so what i will do this is the entire dev no this is the button we have this is the button you can simply bring this back and you just comment this because this is not what we want to display save it and it's gone looks pretty good this is also getting dynamic it's updating successfully so this is what we have built in the project if you have any question any doubt do let me know in the comment section i'll try to give you an update on that with that i'm ending this video have a wonderful day bye, -bye.